Hello and welcome back to my cooking channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a very tasty salad with these hands. Uh, the salad is made out of uh, rice, boiled rice and uh, fake crabs. What I mean by saying fake crabs, I mean this. Seafood sticks or as we call it, uh, crab, see, crab flavored surimi sticks with uh, added water and starch, fake crabs. Okay, so you're gonna need one of those, you're gonna need a bowl, and I've prepared some rice, it's all boiled, it's still warm, put it there. Then you're gonna need a cucumba. See, it says here, cucumba. And you're gonna need some uh, original, naturally sweet. Uh, where's the name? Sweet corn. It doesn't say sweet corn. Does it say sweet corn? No, it, ah, there, there. See, sweet corn. So, sweet corn. Original. Boom. And you're gonna need some mayo. I use this. Because it's a seriously good. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how you can make it quickly. So you don't need... I'm not going to talk a lot, I'm just going to make it. So, I've been doing this... Um, I've been doing this crab salad for quite some time. And it's very tasty, it's very filling. And it's very easy to prepare. All you need to do is boil some rice. But you know already how to boil rice. You just put some water and put some rice in and just boil it. And But you don't know, or you might know, how to make this crab salad. So, if you already know how to make it, please turn off this video and go and search for some other videos. But if you don't know, Stay tuned and I will show you how to make a very nice, tasty salad. So first of all, cut your fake crab into little chunks, because this will be a salad. This is a cold salad. And you can uh, eat this salad with all sorts of meats very good with all sorts of meats I usually eat it with uh, some frankfurters cutting up yes it smells like fake crab <laughs> I don't know what, what it's made of but it's just fake crab I wonder what would it be like the salad with real crab Maybe one day I'll just go crabbing, get myself some crabs and make this salad with real crabs because I never done it before. All I made it with is fake ass crabs. Okay, so cut them up, small chunks. And this was um, 250 grams. Uh, so you can split that and make less. But I tend to use it all because I want to eat a lot of food and I want to be big and strong. 
Mm, okay, so the crabs are in. Next, cucumba. Oop. You probably know how to cut a cucumba, but you need to wash it first. This goes to the hamster. I always wash my vegetables. Nice and clean vegetables are essential. Again, cut it into small chunks. Like a professional, I'm cutting this. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Like that and like that. You probably all know how to cut cucumber. Cucumber. You like eggs? Okay, so cutting, 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 cutting. I'm just cutting, I'm just cutting. This salad is a really nice uh, refrigerated, you know, when it's cold. So after I've done this, I'll put it in the fridge and uh, I know all the ingredients are already from the fridge, so they're sort of cold, but I will put it into a fridge, extra fridge, until I prepare the mitos. And uh, it will be very nice and cold and very tasty. Okay, so next green giant cut. You don't want the juices of the sweet corn. You want to drain it first. Okay, so this is now drained. Boom. Put it in there. See how quick it all goes. Now you get the rice. Cuttings. I like them in a bag because it's easier to boil and to handle after you boiled it. Boom. Next. Boom. And you've got yourself a bucket of very tasty salad. Uh, okay, so these were 225 um, rice bags. And this is uh, one 285 uh, sweet corn. And you use one cucumber and you've used uh, 250 of fake crab. And uh, this is used till the consistency is right. You will see in a minute after I mix it. Okay, so now that's uh, plenty of mayonnaise, mayonnaising. This, this uh, action that I'm doing is called mayonnaising. So as you can see, I've got plenty of mayonnaising. And now you start mixing. Slowly, slowly. And then after you mixed it all up, you taste it. If it needs something, you know, like a bit more mayonnaise, you mayonnaise it a little bit more. Uh, this is a cold sort of salad. 
and it needs to be always in the fridge you can use it for like three days if you know if you keep it in the fridge you know cover it and everything so uh, Jesus Christ uh, keep it in the fridge uh, refrigerated and just uh, you know when you need it boom 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 out of the fridge put it into your plate and put it back in the fridge so you can probably keep it it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't last for me you know in my family it doesn't last so long but you can keep it for probably three days easily uh, I don't know it's like two three liters two liters two and a half three liters or something And that's it. That's it. If you want, if you're like, you know, desperate and really hungry, you can sort of uh, start eating it straight away. But uh, if the rice is warm, so it's not so nice. So I always do it, you know, put it in the fridge until it's for at least half an hour. And then uh, when you prepare, like, you know, your meats or something, because you can have this is perfect with you know all sorts of meats you know like sausages and all different meats so I, I keep it you know in the fridge for half an hour and then voila and that's it that's basically it that's all done now I'll go in the fridge until I get my meat ready and then I'm gonna eat Thank you for watching, subscribe is there, like is there, and share with your friends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.